Hey party people, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by the channel once again. I don't want to beat a dead horse regarding the Rosemary Sexy Star situation, but the reason I'm recording this audio right here is because Rosemary yesterday issued a statement regarding the situation. And the reason I want to read this statement is because I've had people on my channel tell me that it was a work. And uh, I've, I've seen some people on social media act like it really wasn't that big of a deal because it happens all the time. Anyway, I'm going to read this statement. First, first of all, I'd like to say, I thought it was great to see so many wrestlers step forward in support of her. I was very disappointed, and I don't mean this, um, I'm not bashing at WWE. I'm, I'm very disappointed that none of the wrestlers really stepped forward, even if they did so indirectly. The only couple who did, you know, Paige, Galloway, and Bennett. So two people who are connected to the company and one who's been backstage with the company. And then Road Dog did. I'm, I'm pretty disappointed with it. It has nothing to do with WWE, Global Force, ROH, Lucha Underground, AAA. I'm just, you know, we're just talking pro wrestling here. I think the right thing to do is to step forward. You know, maybe they're just too handcuffed with Twitter. I don't know. But I would have liked to see a little bit more love from that side because those are the standard bears. That's the big company. You know. Anyway, let's get to the statement. I'm going to paste the statement in the, in the description here. If you guys want to read it, if you haven't already. Some of you, most of you have probably seen this. Some of you haven't because some of you aren't Twitter or Twitter people or might not be on Facebook. I'm going to paste it in the description along with the last video I did touching on this situation and a video I did about uh, Rosemary recently defending Global Force Wrestling. So before you do that, though, make sure you hit subscribe on the way down. If you've already subscribed, hit that thumbs up for me. All right, so here we go. Rosemary states, let me make this perfectly clear. If you take liberties with somebody's body when they are giving it to you and trusting you to keep them safe, you are not tough. You are an asshole and you don't belong in this business. Sexy Star decided to do just that this weekend at Triple Mania. And while I have remained quiet on social media until I was more calm to address the situation, I have now been informed that she is telling people that it was a work. You are all now being informed that Sexy Star is a liar. She was a liar in the locker room and she was forced to apologize and instead cooked up some bullshit excuse that she didn't know and she is a liar now. You know if you are twerking on someone's arm, you know an armbar, I'm sorry, you know if you're twerking on someone's arm. You know an armbar is a real and dangerous hold. The only reason your face is not broken right now is because a little voice inside my head as I lay on the apron kept repeating, don't go to Mexican prison. However, turning to positives, the outreach from the wrestling community has been incredible. I'm overwhelmed with how much love I feel right now from friends, fans, and people I have yet to meet in this amazing business. We are a family and we protect our own. If you violate that, you are not welcome here. I also want to thank the AAA locker room. Multiple, pe multiple people came up to me saying how sorry and disgusted they were. Thank you, Hamada and Shani, who also had to deal with this bullshit from Star during that match. Thank you, Vampiro, for professionally trying to calm a volatile situation. Though, as you know, once the excuses started pouring out of Sexy Star's mouth in lieu of an apology, it was over. Thank you to the amazing GFW locker room, both present that night and not. I have so much support from everyone in talent, crew, and office have all reached out to show me that. So unless you've been living under a rock the last couple years, Rosemary does not break character. She doesn't do it in interviews, whether written or audio. She doesn't do it on t 